Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is Human from Toolhouse and I'm here today to show you how you can create Toolhouse AI agents, connect them to your Google services. So if you're like a DevRel, community manager, or just someone who deals a lot with Google services, like going to your calendar, uh, reading emails, creating Google Docs, putting stuff in Google Drive, this video is perfect for you. I'm going to teach you how you can create your Toolhouse AI agents how you can build them under 30 seconds or something and then have them work for you so your life gets easier. To get started with this tutorial, you just need to sign up at Toolhouse. Make sure you use the link that appears on the screen to sign up. Toolhouse is completely free. So make sure you sign up and you have your account set so you can follow along with this tutorial. All right, so the deal is I'm going to show you how you can create the agent from the scratch, have your AI agent go to your calendar, see if you have events lined up and create Google documents or draft emails for you and upload stuff into your Google Drive. So by the end of this video, your AI agent can look to your calendar, something like this, you have events there, and then your AI agent will write down a bunch of information in Google Docs. It will create the Google Docs and put stuff there and drafts an email for you. So if you are in a business of creating stuff online, operations this saves you tons of time so you create an ai agent under 30 seconds connected to different services and have it work for you all right let's start with the first step all right so the first step is we give our ai agents our toolhouse ai agents the tools they're going to need to perform the tasks to do that make sure you visit our documentation page at docs.toolhouse.ai and head over to custom mcp server integrations Basically here, we're grabbing some remote MCP server, a URL, and passing it to our agent to perform the task for us. In this example, we talked about Google services. So we're going to use Zapier as one of the many ways you can grab a MCP server, a remote MCP server, and we're going to build that together. All right, so I went on Zapier. I created a MCP server. I named it Toolhouse. As the client, I chose Other and I gave it some tools. So in this example, I talked about Google Calendar, Google Docs, Google Drive, and Gmail. So these are the tools I added here. You can add more tools. So click on Add Tool, and you can add more apps, services to your MCP server. But I'm fine with this. So the point here is to head over to the Connect tab and grab this server URL. This is your remote MCP server URL. This is what you're gonna need. Uh, to make your AI agents interact with these services. All right, now we got this copied. Let's head back to the agent studio. All right, time for step two. We are here at Toolhouse interface. So if you signed up, you should see this page at app.toolhouse.ai. Make sure you head over to agent studio. This is where you can create agents. I have a bunch of agents here. Let's create a new one, create new agent. All right. So the amazing thing about Toolhouse is you don't need to be a coding master. You don't need to know coding. You just have to describe now. This is the easy part. Toolhouse will take care of everything else for you. So you don't have to think about anything. All right, let's close this tab, expand this, and let's start describing. All right, create an agent that will assist the user with their tasks. The agent should use the following MCP server from Zapier to perform the tasks for the user. And we are going to paste back the URL we copied from Zapier here. And boom, just like that, we are going to create our AI agent. And I'm going to hit enter. And as soon as I do that, Toolhouse will take care of the rest for us. Toolhouse will optimize my prompt, put it, put everything in a YAML file, in an agent file, and everything should be good for me to go in just a few seconds. And bam, just like that, we have the agent title, system prompt, the messages, and everything that needs to be configured. Now on the right side, on the preview tab, I can use this AI agent and test if it can do anything that I gave it, right? So let's try that, let's do that. 
type a message can you look into my calendar and list me what events is lined up for today let's start with something simple i want to know if the agent is connected to my google calendar perfect is using the mcp server google calendar find events it's calling the right function to grab the information and boom just like that i have an ai agent that can interact with my uh, google calendar and if i head over to the code tab i can see what's beneath the hood so everything the yaml file the things we don't need to worry about are here we can modify the agent file the yaml file and make it uh, more complicated do more stuff and enhance it all right this was cool so under 30 seconds or something we created our first toolhouse ai agent i showed you the preview tab where you can talk to your agent before deploying it for the real world to see if it can use the tools you give it in our case we use zapier gave it a bunch of tools we tested our ai agent you know with something simple like what what is listed for today and it could use the right tool use the right function and i showed you the code tab where you can modify everything yourself manually and see really what's beneath the hood for this ai agent but now let's put it for the real test i want to challenge the agent to perform more tasks for me all right let's describe it can you please tell me what's listed for today in my calendar if i have growth stand up go ahead create a draft on google docs about toolhouse.ai use other tools to research toolhouse and leave a draft in my gmail for a customer outreach make the draft friendly and not jargony all right this is the real test we are asking our ai agent a bunch of stuff at once we're telling it first go to my calendar second create a google docs a document make sure you research tool as ai so you use other tools to enrich that draft and go ahead draft a google uh, outreach for a customer all right, so the AI agent did everything correct. It first went to the calendar, checked my events, confirmed we had the growth standup scheduled for today. That was the goal for it to proceed with the other tasks. So it went ahead because we had that event lined up. It went ahead and created that Google Docs document and went ahead, created a Gmail draft for me for a customer outreach. All right, let's check the outputs. And bam, we have the Google Docs. This is the title. It came up with a nice title for it. And this is not just any other draft, right? Everything is styled. Everything is there nicely. It even created chapters for us so we can explore the whole draft. And everything is super nice. And this is the draft. Everything is there. Nice subject. And the tone is friendly. So this should save you a ton of time if your day-to-day -day operations are involved with Google services. This was a quick tutorial showing you how you can test your agents with simple tasks and just challenge them with more heavy liftings you know give them more tasks to do for you and the agent did everything successful i'm just super proud of our ai agent all right now that i'm happy with the ai agent i can click on publish and my agent comes to life and everything comes to life i can pass this link with my colleagues, with my teammates, my customers, and have them interact with my AI agent. All right, so if I copy this link from Agent Studio and open it in a new tab, I can talk to my AI agent, I can pass it to my friends, colleagues, you know, whoever they want to test with this AI agent, and they can remix this AI agent for themselves, so they can make the, make the agent for themselves, or they can explore or you can explore the trending agents from the community here. You can explore what the other builders on Toolhouse are building and get more ideas. All right. So this was a quick tutorial showing you how you can create AI agents, connect them to different tools and have them do your tasks for you. 
If you're interested in Toolhouse, make sure you sign up today. Toolhouse is completely free. So use the link that appears on the screen to sign up. Toolhouse is free. And if you want to talk to me or our team, make sure you join our Discord. We always love to hear your stories, hear what you're building. So Discord, make sure you join there. And if you love Toolhouse and you want to proceed with the paid plans on Toolhouse, make sure you use code HUMAN at the checkout. That will give you 50% off. Toolhouse is free. Sign up today and I see you in the next videos. Bye bye everybody.